-hmm. And that foundation is back there. I wish I had a picture. But it is, um, it looks like cement with small, tiny pebbles about this big in it. Mm -hmm. It is this square. Okay. And it has a clay pipe. Oh, and it runs around the outside mm -hmm. of the cement. So it's a footing to a building. To a building. It's definitely. If there's Absolutely. one, there's more. There's more. We didn't look anymore. We just said, okay. Right. We found one thing. Let's let the professionals. Do it. Exactly. Find the Come rest. in and see where the rest is. And my son had his handheld GPS. Mm -hmm. So you can and mark that exactly spot. And we know exactly where that, that is. location is. We know is. where it is. Right. And all along, the developers have walked my property anytime you want to. Okay. Until we found that piece. Oh. And, and sent it to Columbia. Right. And now, if you notice, there's no trespassing signs all, all over around the border it. of this property. Yeah. Because I was about to say, and oh, he, he told, told you to do that and ignore the no trespassing signs. But this was before he decided <laughs> yeah. to put up he the no trespassing signs. He got mad and he told us to stay off of his property because we walk it all the time. That was the only time we'd ever been out there. Okay. So that says, even though he may be attempting to behave like he wants to be community friendly, not if the community sudden, is not all for the project. All of a sudden, he is right. not. So now tell me, this federal permit that he has to apply for, where does that stand right now? The um, official it's, climate period mm -hmm. ended August 28th. It was supposed right. to end July 14th, mm -hmm. but the EPA right, got involved extended, and right. said extended out to August 28th. Right. Um, it's officially ended, mm -hmm. but I'm they'll, they'll still take comments. They'll still right. listen to the public. Listen to I'm the sure. public. Right. I'm sure they will. Right. Um, and now it's a matter of them deciding whether they should hold a public hearing, mm -hmm. which you saw all the comments I yes, gave you. Yes, there's a it lot, lot of lot. comments, yeah. And I would imagine. In opposition, you have how many people now mm -hmm. on the oh, Save the Angelo. I meant to look this website. morning, but it's it's definitely close to like closing in on 11,000. On 11,000 people. I didn't look this morning, I should have. <laughs> right, but that's okay. But <laughs> close so to 11,000 people who that's are saying, a lot of people. don't that is a give lot this of permit people. and don't fill this area. That is a lot of right. people. And I mean, people who are conscious and cognizant of the future, not just looking at now and what we're going to be dealing with in our lifetimes, but we have no idea how this tree is going to be affected by the waterways that we don't. run they around have here their, in its root system. They have experts. Mm -hmm. The hydrologist, I consider his report no longer Valid. applicable. Really? Because these wetlands are jurisdictional. Now. They're not oh, yes, now, exactly. How can it be? Right. His hydrology report, how can it be correct? Exactly. The arborist mm -hmm. is in Clemson. Okay. And I asked him, we've met him personally, and I asked him, what's the oldest tree you ever worked with? And he said, oh, about 100 years old. Oh, well then. And I said. Yeah. You need somebody else with more experience than that. <laughs> I yeah. was shocked. I think uh, he either said 100 or 200, and he right. said, and I recommended it be cut down. What? Because it was diseased, he said, and they cut it down. And wow. I don't even know where the tree was. Where that tree was. And I said, right. so you have no experience with ancient trees. Right. And he said. Well, I work with trees, you know. I, know. I said, but you have. But you have no I said, do you with have experience trees. with putting a right. development close to, to a named tree? Exactly. And he said, no. Okay. I said, so you have no experience with this. Right. And he said, he got very hostile and said um, that he has talked to people that have. But talking to people that have and experience, that he and you have an experience is two different things. He told things. me, I am the expert, and you are not. Oh, and I so said, arrogance. <laughs> I am a resident of Johns Island, Absolutely. and you are not. You're right. from Clemson. And that's the difference. And that's the difference. Right. And I had my children with me, so I had to leave. Yeah, of course. Because the situation I, was I getting out I of hand. Won't. Right. Expose now, what, children what I would love to do, and we work with a lot of people who work on environmental issues and national parks and public parks, and I'd love to talk to some of them because I'm sure somebody in that pool of people does have the experience you're looking yes. for that has They're been to the there. rainforest and other places and other parts of the world that have worked directly with it, not talk to somebody They're else who did, talk to right, that has. but actually that was has the experience themselves that we need me. to, right, and we need to talk to the city of Charleston yes. so that then we can get a real it, community it partnership and a real survey done, yeah. right, and see that's part of when people realize when they hear about fights like this, 
They just call people tree huggers, you yeah. know, At and they just think that you have nothing better to we do. Were, I'm yeah. Sure, but, <laughs> right. but now they say, do you want to be called a tree hugger? And we said, yes, we do. Right. Because this tree, tree you want to hug. I'm exactly. not going to get out maybe and, and hug every single tree. No. But I'm going to hug this one. Right. Right. Definitely going to hug this one. And all the green trees out here. Exactly. It's protecting it from hurricanes. Right. I'm hugging them too. Exactly. Because they are the army. Yes. They're the army. They're, They're standing at guard, tree. protecting the angels. Exactly. There's been close agricultural fields around here. I know. At different times. Times, the last yeah. Come on, years. Years. Mm -hmm. But people will say, "Well, it's been farmed. It's been cleared before." I, but I keep telling them, "It's, but it's not been, been farmed. massively exactly." And cleared. farming yes. is different yes. than building buildings. Yeah. So the type of impact that you have on the ground from building yes. and the footprint that you literally leave yeah, from building leave. is different than farming. Just huh? like, just to take a note, look at the foundation the we just looked at. Look yeah. at the foundation you described. This thing has probably been here for 50, 100, 200 years, it's but it's here. still there. It doesn't just leave it's because evidence. you don't see the edifice above ground. It has an impact even below the surface that we normally look at. Yes. So yeah, but when you farm, at least you're still feeding someone. You're and when they had these someone. farms out here, they did not clear cut. They didn't overnight. clear cut, never. It didn't right. happen overnight, overnight and drastically. Exactly. It happened over a period of time. It evolved. It changed. Right. It, you know, and what's going to happen when and all of in that. a couple of days' time, oh, yeah. he comes in and goes, mm -hmm. Right, which is what happened. Sit down. Exactly. What's going to happen? Right. And what impact does it have? And much less once you take the trees out and then you fill the wetland in. Yes. So you have it's two change things the water coming table. together drastically. It's going to cause more runoff into Church Creek, which it's just back there on the other side of those agricultural fields. Right. It's the creek. It's that right. close. Right. And then how does that now affect the agriculture yes. on Johns Island? Much less the roads itself, because we know when you start to fill in things, you end up with flooding, and we're directly in a hurricane zone, flooding, as you pointed yes. out. When you clear cut trees, now you have more wide open space, so now you have more impact with the mm -hmm. winds mm -hmm. and yes. all of that. Yes. And so, definitely, so it's a lot to consider. Angel it's not just not one tree. No, no, we're not used to it. We're not used to it. I don't like it. Exactly, <laughs> we're not either. And so, it's in see, the cicadas are singing, the birds, but oh yeah. my goodness. Oh, this is the 2004 heritage tree and it's the 2000 millennium tree. And so the thing is, if, if that's the case, then what's the problem? Why are we in danger? <laughs> yeah.